afternoon ma'am. Good afternoon sir. Thank you ma'am. Hello Garima. So you are coming from Sonipat or you are living in Delhi? Uh, ma'am, I have come from Sonipat. Sonipat. How long did you take? Uh, ma'am, approximately one and a half hours. One and a half. You came long ago. Why so are you sitting there? Uh, yes, ma'am. So you were in a rush, is it? Sorry, ma'am. Were you in a rush to come? Uh, no, ma'am. Actually, I was told that my slot uh, was earlier. Earlier. But a lot okay. of candidates were waiting. That's all right. Yes, ma'am. So I'm told you went to Denmark in 2016, right? So what were you doing there? Uh, ma'am, it was a four-month uh, uh, exchange program. Four months? Yes, ma'am. Cultural exchange or educational? Uh, ma'am, as, uh, uh, as part of curriculum at BITS, uh, a student can spend last semester uh, okay, in abroad. Abroad or okay. with a company. So okay. I chose to go there. So, Garima, tell me what did you see in Denmark? Where did you go? Places? Uh, ma'am, I, uh, I went to the capital, uh, mm -hmm. which is Copenhagen, and saw the Little Mermaid statue there. There were, uh, the first thing that I saw in Denmark was huge windmills and that too in the uh, yeah, ocean. There are lots of them. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Uh, and then uh, we went uh, to to the to a lot of uh, palaces. Uh, palaces. Uh, okay. There's uh, Frederick Frederick's Borg Palace. Okay. Uh, and uh, there's a Chris. Ma'am, I'm not able to. That's recall. okay. Did you go on the canal, the Amsterdam? Uh, no, ma'am. They didn't take you. Oh, they should have taken the Hague. Check connection to Amsterdam, you go by canal. Uh, Ma'am, but uh, I took uh, uh, a ferry okay. uh, when we went to Budapest. So you went on your own in Hungary? Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what is your hobby these days? Uh, I'm self-help uh, books, reading self-help books. Oh, that's nice. So what Thank book you. are you reading? Uh, Ma'am, at the moment, uh, Atomic Habits. Atomic? Atomic Habits, Habits yeah. uh, by Mr. James Clear. Yeah, yeah. What is it about? Uh, uh, Ma'am, it's about inculcating uh, good habits mm. and uh, breaking uh, bad ones. Yeah. So, did you learn anything from your that book? Ma'am, a lot. A lot. It helped me uh, during my mains also. Okay. So, and that's why I'm uh, reading it uh, again and again. Okay. So, how much have you scored in your mains? Do they? Do you know? Uh, Ma'am, this time uh, you don't. Know. Uh, it's not disclosed till the. Okay. Uh, they will tell you afterwards. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, tell me now in Delhi, uh, what have you seen in Delhi? Some architectural monuments, some historical place? Uh, Ma'am, as of now, uh, I'm not able to recall anything. It has have been quite a while. Have you been in Delhi? I mean, have you roamed around? Uh, no, Ma'am. You've not been. You live in Sonipat only. Yes, Ma'am. And what is Sonipat famous for? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, culturally, uh, Sonipat is uh, famous for its uh, murthal ke parathas and pyare ke pede. Food, food, yeah. Yes, food. Yes. And um, and second is uh, for sports culture. It's quite famous. Sport. Yes, ma'am. We Any have... big shot who came out of Sonipat for the national level? Uh, ma'am, the uh, Olympian uh, Mr. Ravi Dahiya, who won oh, the yeah, silver yeah, medal. Yeah, yeah. He did well. Very well, ma'am. Very well. Okay, so uh, why do you want to come to the civil services now? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I've been quite passionate uh, about getting into services. Okay. And uh, I feel uh, that the domain mm. that services provide is quite broad. And it provides what attracts me most is the leadership opportunities mm. that services provide at a relatively young age as compared to uh, private sector. Private sector. And are you working this day? No, ma'am. You're not working. No. Are you the eldest in your family? Uh, Ma'am, I'm the youngest one. You're the youngest. How nice. Thank so, you. So, write some, please. Thank you, Garima, uh, what was the subject of your choice uh, for mains? <laughs> uh, so, uh, political science and international relations. Okay, uh, but you also have uh, something to do with pharmacy. Uh, so that uh, was one of my uh, graduation subjects at Wits Pilani. Okay, okay. So, international relations and what, what's happening in Sri Lanka? Uh, so, political uh, 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 economic crisis has been. Uh, has uh, taken place in Sri Lanka and we are seeing protests uh, to uh, remove the government and uh, sir, uh, day before yesterday there was a news that almost 60 uh, Sri Lankans have landed on Indian uh, in the Indian district of Rameshwaram. So, sir, okay, Garima, suppose you have to uh, have a macro view of uh, any economy, any national economy, 
and you have to be uh, aware of its current health right as to how it is doing uh, what particular index will you look at uh, sir i would look at three four indicators so one would be its inflation uh, sir its forex uh, uh, reserves and its debt to gdp ratio is something that can tell about the health of the economy okay so uh, what's the debt to gdp ratio of uh, sri lanka at the moment uh, so it's uh, sir i'm sorry sir i'm not able to uh, recall the uh, exact value but it has been said that it's going to default on its 51 uh, billion uh, dollar debt that it has taken and this year's uh, this year's amount was supposed to be 7 billion dollars they are going to default on that by any chance are you aware of uh, debt to gdp ratio for indian economy at the moment uh, i'll have to check that sir i'm sorry sir okay uh, it is said of uh, indian tradition of healing i'm talking of the <laughs> system of healing particularly ayurved that it's uh, ayurved essentially is about pharmacy and less about what physicians do right do you agree uh so ayurveda its definition which says that uh, it's uh, an indian system that's supposed to uh, that focuses on uh, don't go by the definition part of it uh, if you have ever cared to think of ayurved what the practitioners do in ayurved what is the total or uh, you know, broad pharmacopoeia of ayurved is then would you designate it as what physicians do in the modern sense of the term or it is more about pharmacy yes sir uh, so i i have uh, read about the uh, ayurveda pharmacopoeia hmm. and so in normal life also we use so many herbs like ginger so it's the first right. thing that we go for uh, turmeric and ashwagandha and giloy also became very famous during the covid crisis so sir it has got more to do about the uh, the food that we are consuming and its impact on our body and so in pharmacy also the drugs they do the same thing that uh, if we have symptoms so we take those drugs that work against those symptoms so for example statins uh, they are lipid lowering uh, drugs so if we have high cholesterol they work against that uh, so in that way ayurveda is uh, related to uh, pharmaceutical sciences okay uh, have you ever cared to compare the taxonomy of ayurvedic pharmacopoeia with the taxonomy of allopathic pharmacopoeia no sir yeah. i'm sorry sir okay. yeah, thank you thank you sir prima you are from sonipat yes so sonipat to has been a important center of khap panchayat so what are your view on khap panchayat uh so i feel uh, that khap panchayat they have been quite infamous for passing dictates uh, which violate uh, the rights of uh, the people who live in the uh, panchayats but uh, particularly the women uh, when they say that uh, if they are marrying against uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at the same time uh, some khaps they have done wonderful work uh in the success of uh, haryana has done quite well uh, as uh, in aspect of sex ratio so mm -hmm. so so khaps they have played a major role so there have uh, sati dhaiya khap it has passed an order that anyone who takes dowry they'll be socially ostracized mm -hmm. and uh, there's uh, there's uh, not going to be the bhoj that happens on the 13th day of someone's death So, so, so this change you are pointing out, yes, sir. Uh, is uh, only in some selected khaps or in general in Haryana. This evolution from a very brutal kind of entity to an uh, agent of social change. Uh, so I see it uh, as happening in pockets mm -hmm. at the moment, mm -hmm. but uh, it has been suggested that if we uh, if we allow them to interact, mm -hmm. so even the most rigid of the khaps, mm -hmm. they'll be able to change their mindsets. And so since Uh, independence or before uh, in 1900s the uh, the khap started uh, getting into existence so okay. a lot of change has come in uh, people's mindsets okay, so good. that has been attributed now uh, uh, grima india has been uh, you know thinking of taking its economy to 5 trillion us dollars 
it is a stated policy of the government. So, do you see any role for women in this? So I feel uh, that uh, there's a huge role uh, for women. So at in, the in what way? So at the moment, uh, we utilize only tw uh, twenty one percent of our female labor force participation rate. And so in Denmark, uh, it's seventy five percent. So if we are able to bring that rate, if we are able to bring that female labor force participation rate, it's going to make a huge difference. And even uh, IMF uh, chief. Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, so I'm 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 sorry, sir. I'm forgetting her name. She has also said that if male uh, labor force participation rate equals female labor force participation rate, India's GDP is going to increase by twenty seven percent. Good. So there's oh, a huge oh, role, sir. Very nice. Thank now, you. Now, army has recently come out with a plan called Agni Path, tour of joy. What is this? Tour, tour of duty, sir. Tour of duty. Yes. Uh, so it was. Uh, a mass uh, recruitment uh, exercise in which uh, the youth will be allowed to join the services for three years mm -hmm. and uh, so it is being said that it will reduce the burden of pension uh, on the armed forces and at the same time inculcate a feeling uh, of respect towards uh, our armed forces in the youth. So what is your view on this? Is it a good idea? That for, uh, like uh, for a uh, important work, very strategic, impo strategically important work like national security, we are uh, recruiting people on a very short term basis without uh, much commitment, without much uh, that, uh, you call training. Uh, so, in the long term, uh, uh, I don't feel that it's going to be very beneficial mm -hmm. uh, because a, a person has to spend a lot of time to be able to in any field so even for securing our borders that's uh, that has to be a long term uh, commitment mm -hmm. uh, but sir again the objective of inculcating a feeling of nationalism and uh, the respect for armed forces that the kind of work they do or uh, that for that one i i feel it's it's good okay so today is an important day from mm -hmm. government's point of view are you aware no sir i'm sorry sir national panchayat Panchayat Day too. Thank you very much, sir. So, how, how, what is the condition of panchayats? What is your observation in Haryana? Uh, the panchayats, they have done a commendable, commendable work, especially where women uh, leaders have been there, that there has been an improvement in the basic facilities, road construction is there, availability of water is there. Uh, but sir, at the same time, uh, the panchayats, they face a lot of challenges. And so, one is the overlapping or or uh, so the Khap Panchayats, they they are not elected, so they create a challenge for the elected uh, representatives of the Panchayat. So then there is uh, the problem of Sarpanch Patis, uh, the, the husband's act as well. What is the percentage of women in uh, Panchayati Raj institutions in Haryana? Uh, sir, I'll have to check. I'm yeah. sorry, sir. Now, uh, you spent uh, four or five months in Denmark. Denmark ranks number one in transparency the international index jointly with two other countries, whereas India is uh, 88 in the list of 180 countries. What difference do you see? Where, where do you, uh, I mean, what are the, uh, what are your observations? Why did Denmark is number one and we are so behind? Yes, sir. So, one thing is about the digitization there. Digitization, okay. So, in 2016, when I went there, uh, when I went to a bank, uh, we were given tokens and appointment had already been taken. So, I knew when I was supposed to go, where I was supposed to go and the process was done uh, quite expeditely, Ex uh, quite, quite uh, fast, yeah. yes, expeditiously, sorry, thank you sir. Uh, but sir, in India, it takes a lot of time mm -hmm. to get things done and uh, so if you give me permission, I would like to quote a recent uh, incident. Mm -hmm. in so the do you see that digitization has also, you know, impacted corruption in India? Also? So, it has to some extent, but still a lot of discretion is there with the officials okay. so when one goes to get a property registered so the signature of the patwari okay. and okay. the officials are needed yeah. thank, thank you very much thank you very much sir okay. so so Gariman, yes sir uh, we were talking about uh, women yes, in uh, various uh, spheres of uh, working okay so i give a proposition that uh, let's uh, be kind to them and uh, if they are around 50 percent, let there be at least 40 percent uh, reservation in all the services. Will it be okay or it will be counterproductive or it is not necessary? 
or what is your view on that think about it uh, so i feel uh, that mm. reservation uh, could improve in uh, could help in improving the representation of women but mm -hmm. sir, it's supposed to be a very short term mm -hmm. unless we change the attitude of our uh, of our uh, of our masses mm -hmm. and unless we give them uh, equal education healthcare and employment opportunities mm -hmm. uh, unless we uh, we give them basic skills mm -hmm. so so i no, let me be specific yes. i was talking about the services yes, that we say at least in all india services yes sir so what is that ias ips and uh, indian forest service in these three services let there be 40% or 50% reservation for ladies how do you react to that I will feel very happy uh, uh, for that. Mm. What are the uh, pros and cons of it? Analyze and tell me. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, so pros would be if uh, if girls see women in leadership positions, mm -hmm. they'll be encouraged to join. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, uh, women uh, who are in leadership position, mm -hmm. they'll be able to come up with policies that are women friendly, so mm -hmm. because they can empathize with uh, women's issues. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, one con could be is that. Uh, the question of merit mm -hmm. could come up mm -hmm. that uh, the uh, those who are not able to clear the exam on their own merit they have to take the uh, user a uh, benefit of reservation mm -hmm. and uh, they could there could be bias again uh, uh, against them in the administration from their peers mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. these are uh, certain pros and cons of giving reservation to women so, uh, seeing your uh, educational and professional qualification I feel that uh, you are uh, too highly qualified to have left that uh, thing for uh, things like services. Uh, you are masters in info system, is it not? That means you must be able to design systems and with the uh, knowledge of uh, pharmacy also, you will be able to do very good for them, for uh, pharmacy uh, info, info systems, you will be able to do. Why to leave that thing and come to civil services? Here there are services which have nothing to do with info systems. Hmm. Uh, so I feel uh, that uh, it, it seems like I have left pharmacy and information systems, but so the mm. skills that I learned mm -hmm. in the courses, they are going mm -hmm. to be there with mm -hmm. me and they are going to be very helpful uh, in administration. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in One or two skills you tell me? So one is, uh, so the course of dispensing pharmacy, it mm -hmm. uh, teaches that a formulation uh, mm -hmm. it, uh, though it might not benefit everyone, it should mm -hmm. not hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. So the same skill needs to be there in mm -hmm. civil servants while implementing a project. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is uh, that when, when we discover drugs, uh, before we succeed, we go through a lot of failure. Mm -hmm. So similarly, uh, so that's why pilot projects are done. Very good. Uh, so similarly in uh, civil services, mm -hmm. uh, uh, before implementing a new project, uh, uh, it's better we do it on a very small scale mm. and learn from it and then do you think it. Beti Bachao, Beti Prao also did we undertook some pilot project or uh, did we had this uh, scheme right from beginning big scheme uh, so I am not able to think about any scheme uh, mm -hmm. before Beti Bachao, Beti Prao although there were some state schemes I am asking specifically for this scheme was there a pilot project or was it implemented in around say uh, over 200 districts right in the beginning uh, so in the beginning itself uh, uh, it was uh, it was implemented uh, it was mm -hmm. said to be implemented in uh, uh, a number of districts okay okay uh, you know something about uh, police reforms uh, so i have read uh, which one you have read i will ask only that uh, so what you have read about yeah. it so mm -hmm. the prakash singh uh, guidelines uh, they say that mm -hmm. uh, they have who has issued these guidelines uh, so the Supreme Court Supreme in Prakash Singh case judgment. In Prakash Singh case judgment, guidelines have been issued. Yes. Just give me one guideline. Uh, sir, it's about a stability of uh, tenure mm -hmm. for at least two years. Stability. Stability is correct word or some other? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Mm. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, can you tell me the difference between patent, copyright? and trademark yes sir uh, so one difference is with regard to their definition that uh, they are different intellectual property rights so for patents 
uh, it uh, gives the inventor exclusive control over their innovation and there are three parameters to decide the patent patentability under the indian uh, patents act so regarding copyrights it's another ipr which gives uh, the creator uh, exclusive uh, right over their artistic uh, expression like music novels uh, songs and so the trademark it's an intellectual property right uh, which helps us in distinguishing one product uh, uh, product of one uh, organization from that of the other so one difference is in the definition the second is uh, in the acts which regulate uh, these iprs so third is in the term for which a uh, patent uh, is uh, valid it's 20 years in india so copyright is uh, 60 years uh, life of the uh, of the uh, life of the creator plus 60 years in india and so trademark uh, it's for uh, valid for 10 years and so the uh, other difference is that while patents and trademarks they have to be registered copyright is an automatic uh, intellectual property right okay. i would like to know from you in india should health insurance be made compulsory we have seen vehicle insurance or motor insurance is compulsory but not health insurance uh, so the uh, pro there are uh, both pros and cons of making it uh, compulsory so the pro is uh, that since 60% of out of pocket expenditure of an individual is spent on buying medicines so so if we have insurance protection there that would be reduced and uh, so it's being said that 55 million people are pushed into poverty due to out of pocket expenditure so, so it will help in that but so at the same time uh, people may not be able to give the premium of the insurance and there may not be awareness so, so if government could step in i think that's going to be a very good step or uh, making it mandatory but the one thing is that we will have to ensure that there are no insurance frauds also uh, while giving health insurance we coming to your optional subject uh, who is or who are your favorite political thinkers and give reasons for the same uh, so i do not have one uh, political thinker as my favorite thinker i like their ideas so one is uh, madhya mark of buddha uh, the second one is uh, gandhi ji's uh, advocacy of balance between rights and duties and uh, so the third one is Kautilya says that uh, the chief duty of king is to ensure the happiness of his subjects. So I feel that in civil uh, services also, the empowerment of the people, especially the vulnerable sections, is something that the uh, civil servants should uh, aspire for. So do you think India is following Madhya Mark in terms of maintaining relations with its neighboring countries? So in uh, context of uh of our neighbors we can say that uh, non interference in their affairs especially in myanmar or in sri lanka uh, we can say that uh, we are taking a very balanced uh, position though uh, countries in the west they have condemned coup uh, in uh, in myanmar but we are taking a balanced approach so in that context i can see india practicing uh, madhya mark in Uh, in our neighborhood can you evaluate role of international court of justice as well as its performance so i'll have to read up on that i'm sorry sir okay no issues have you heard of cuet common university interests so what's your take on that if you can highlight certain merits as well as demerits of the same yes sir uh, so one of the merits uh, is that uh, the exam it will uh, create a level playing field that uh, since there are different boards so if students are able to give one exam so uh, and get marks and on the basis of that they are getting uh, admitted to universities so one one con is of that it will lead to uh, explosion of coaching industry and already uh, students are under so much pressure so they will have to give one more exam uh, so so these are certain cons and so the fact that cot cuet does not bring about any qualitative change in the uh, higher education sector it's about a process So, so so these are certain pros and cons okay chandigarh uh, was in news recently okay so what is your opinion should it be given to punjab haryana or should it be separate only what's your take on that uh, so i feel uh, that uh, chandigarh it should remain a union territory mm-hmm. and both punjab and haryana should go for their own capital 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir.